Hey, what's going on, Kaiju family? This is Donald Gully from the Godzilla Nerds, and I'm back with a brand new video pertaining to my Godzilla top 10 opponents. Welcome to Shell Shock, bringing in your gears like the bells that El Rock. It doesn't matter whether or not you sell lock. You can find solace in the cold and sell block. This is Shell Shock, welcome to Shell Shock, bringing in your gears like the bells that El Rock. It doesn't matter whether or not you sell lock. You can find all right ladies and gentlemen we are getting started today with our top 10 godzilla opponents now this list is a really really hard list to compose this was a really really hard list to make and willing to take on the challenge of those who's going to challenge me about my list i encourage you to bring it on but i do want to say godzilla has a long list of great opponents and i'm sorry that all his opponents could not make this list so with that being said, we're going to start with opponent number 10. My top 10 guys on the list starts with opponent number 10, and that is the Mutos. So I have the Mutos coming in at number 10. Uh, when we look at the uh, awesome creation of the Mutos, this was something new uh, that we received. When Godzilla 2014 came out, we didn't receive a classic Toho monster. We got something new. Uh, which I definitely love. The Mutos were uh, awesome in this film. I know a lot of people may uh, disagree with me, but the 2014 movie has a, a special place in my heart because we went so many years without having uh, a Godzilla in America because we remember uh, the backlash that the 1998 film had received. So coming in at number 10 on this countdown, it would have to be the Mutos. Let's take a look at the Mutos. First and foremost, you do not want to wake up and see this ugly face looking over you like this, ready to eat and ready to devour you. That is not a good look at all. I love how different this kaiju and how different this titan look. Now let's take another look, uh, another photo at the uh, Muto. Now this is when the Muto has the first encounter with Gojira, right? And remember, this is the iconic airport scene where we first see Godzilla, and this is the first time we've seen him in 15 years. All right, okay, so I had to put this slide in here because this is still the most devastating finisher in the MonsterVerse, and this is the most devastating finisher that Godzilla has done to an opponent of all time i don't care what nobody say anybody can challenge me on this but this was really really awesome with how godzilla did this it was super cool it was super unique and i really loved it and so i have the mutos coming in at number 10 uh and, and the mutos had the ability to stop all the power like could you imagine you know you playing your xbox or you playing your playstation or you're just chilling and relaxing and they just take their little legs or whatever it was it just pew, pew, and it shuts everything down like that would not make your day at all so look i want to show this little clip of you guys uh for you guys of the uh mutos so right here we see a couple of these things uh from the mutos and like this was a really really unique scene i love how gareth edwards did that this was another amazing scene and, and this right here this is what we came to see Godzilla. And again, I have to put this in here because these are like <laughs> devastating finishers. But coming in at number 10, I definitely have the Mutos filling this spot. Anybody else who had a different number 10 who they thought should fill this spot or fill this void, please let me know. Don't be shy. But the Mutos comes in at number 10 because, again, this is different. We haven't seen anything like this. And when we're watching the Godzilla movie, we're not sure what to expect. We don't know if we're going to get a Gigan. We don't know if we're going to get uh, a King Ghidorah. You know, we don't know who we're going to get. So coming in at number 10, I have the Mutos. And guess what? I'm going to be coming back with number nine very, very shortly. This is an interesting list. I, I just please encourage and I ask you guys to stick around. This is a list that you do not want to miss. Hey, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. You can also find us at Godzilla Nerds 1954 on YouTube. Every Thursday, me and the team get together. We do a podcast. And this week's episode, the podcast is about the 1998 Godzilla film. And it's every Thursday at 7 o'clock p.m. Central Time. But this particular episode will be 8 o'clock 
p.m central time so make sure you stick in for that and if you have facebook you can find us at godzilla nerds 1954 exclamation mark and you can be a part of the group and a part of the team and we can share some kaiju figures together kaiju stories movie and all those other good things so this is donald gully i am like not even half of the godzilla nerds but i love you guys thank you for watching this video Welcome to Shell Shock, bringing in your kills like the bell to El Rock. It doesn't matter whether or not you sell lock. You can find solace in the cold and sell block. This is Shell Shock, welcome to Shell Shock, bringing in your kills like the bell to El Rock. It doesn't matter whether or not you sell lock. You can find solace.